guy Martin is exploring the new world of electric cars. It's not new, as I've been telling you boss for a long time. Which has a surprising history that's more than 120 years old. Here we go. The very first land speed records were set in electric vehicles. In 1899, Camille Genazzi entered the history books with his speed machine, Le Jamais Contant. Jamie John Tons, he was from Belgium. 62 mile an hour, first man to do 100 kilometers an hour in an electric vehicle. Well, in any vehicle. Yeah, ended up getting shot by his mates, pretending to be a pig out on a hunting expedition. At the start of the 20th century, battery-powered vehicles were fast, smooth, and everywhere. Yeah, so here we've got New York City. Every third car was an electric vehicle. Really, because, you know, the internal combustion was in sort of its infancy. You know, there was smoking, there was bloody hand cranking starting, running like a bag of spanners and it's shaking about. Yeah, so th th there's not many positives for going down internal combustion until early 1900s. Here we go, we're in Texas, right, and what have we got? We've found oil and we're swimming in the stuff. A barrel of oil was three cents a barrel. And then Henry Ford got onto this. All oh, right, yeah, I'll tell you what, we've got cheap fuel. If we can make a car, a cheap car, then we're on the money. And this is where the Model T came out. There was $850 a Model T when they first came out. Ten years down the line, when he'd refined the production line method, he was turning them out for $300 a car, the tenth of the cost of the equivalent electric vehicle. So it's a no-brainer. What did we say with the final nail in the coffin? The straw that broke the camel's back? I don't know if he'd use either of those. But anyway, whatever it was, that was the death of the electric car. From that point on, electric power was only used for specialist applications, like early morning milk rounds, where quietness was important. After delivery's milk, you know what I'm saying, eh? Or on the moon, where the lack of atmosphere makes internal combustion impossible. That's the lunar rover. I heard ages ago it had a Sierra back axle in it. Ten million dollars a piece. Through all of this, electric has never really gone mainstream until this man came along, right? Elon Musk, we all know the name, don't we? South African, bloody clever bloke. He's taken a software writer's approach to building cars rather than, yeah, conventional car manufacturer's approach to building cars. The car company where Musk calls himself Techno King is Tesla. The first car came out in 2008. By halfway through 2020, right, they're the most valuable car company in the world. If I'm driving to Grimsby, you'd be doing well not to see a Tesla. What's he doing there? What is he doing? What's he... Anyway, this is Elon Musk, hey, and this gets everyone talking, like, look, we're sat here talking about it. That just creates massive interest in Tesla, and what's that do to the share price? through the bloody roof. So yeah, he's taken a very different approach to making and selling cars, and at this point in time, it seems to be working. One in 10 UK car sales are now pure electric, and Tesla tops the sales charts.